Hi everyone, I am Asma Mushtaq from the WE Vibes and in this tutorial we are going to do another experiment of interfacing of the 7 segment display with the PIC16 FA77A microcontroller. Okay, and uh, before that let's just have an idea of the connections or the pins of the 7 segment display. Here you can see that I am using a single digit 7 segment display and I will be designing an up counter which will count from 0 to 9. Okay. And here if uh, you have a close look of it, you can see uh, at the bottom and at the top you have basically 5-5 five, five pins. Uh, so uh, total 10 pins are present on it and the pin configuration is shown on the page. So the central pin at the top and the bottom is marked as the common pin while the rest of the pins are representing the different LEDs that are arranged in a specific order for displaying the digits okay so a b c d e f g are the seven leds that can be used for representing the any digit on the seven segment fine so in order to display the zero what we need to do we need to turn on a then b c d e and f while g will remain off also here is an other pin on the 7 segment display which is used for the decimal point representation. Sometimes if you have to represent 2.33 or any decimal value then this LED can be turned on for, for displaying the fractional values. Alright, so this is the basic idea and the pin arrangements for of the 7 segment display. Now here are two types of the 7 segment displays that are available in the market. The first one is the common anode and the second one is the common cathode type. Okay and it depends on your choice which, which of them you want to use in your project or any application. So if we see or talk about the common anode type then what does it mean? It means that the all the LEDs that are present or packed in this seven segment displays have their anode tied together and which is marked as the common terminal okay while their cathode terminal is free and which represents the different LEDs A B C and so on D E F and G okay in case of the common anode 7 segment displays, since their anodes are tied together and cathode is free for providing the inputs. So we will use the basic idea of turning on an LED. We know that if we want to turn on an LED, then anode to cathode potential should always be positive. Fine, it should never be negative. So that's why at the anode point we need to provide the high potential while at the cathode point we need to provide the low potential and in this way anode to cathode will always be some positive value usually 5 volts in this case fine so here what we will do in case of the common anode type we will connect plus 5 volts at the third pin at the bottom and at the top fine so 5 volts will be provided and in order to turn on any of these LEDs we will provide a logic 0 over here fine and if I have to turn off this particular LED let's say that then I will provide the logic level 5 so 5 minus 5 will be equal to 0 which means turning off this particular LED similarly if I want to turn it on I need to provide the logic level 0 at the input fine so 5 minus 0 will be 5 volts which will turn on this LED similarly in case of the common cathode what we have done in case of the common cathode 7 segment displays they actually tie their cathode terminals and mark it as common now in case of the common cathode 7 segment displays what happens you have to provide the logic level 0 or low voltages at the cathode or common point while in order to turn on any of these LEDs what you need to do you need to provide a high voltages so that a node to cathode potential will become positive thus turning on the 
LED and if you have to let's say display this zero digit on this seven segment display then what I need to do I need to turn off G assuming that this is the LCD representing the G and in order to turn it off what I need to do I will send the 5 volts or high voltages sorry zero voltages why because I want to keep it off in order to make it off fine so zero voltage will be provided on this G so that an O2 cathode potential is actually zero and in this way it doesn't turn on while other LEDs will be turned on by providing the high logic level. Now what I have done in this experiment I just have used a for loop okay so for loop is used, uh, used which will start from i is equal to 0 to less than equal to 9 and it will check if i is equal to 0 fine then what we will be doing we will be sending i want to display zero so i need to turn on in case of i am writing the program or writing this particular example for the common cathode type okay so in order to turn on the led a i have to send logic level 1 at the pin a at the pin b at the pin c then d e f okay and i want to off g led so i will send zero information at the g and it's up to you either you want to display this dot point or not so i will send logic level zero because i don't want to turn it on right now fine so in this way Similarly, then I will check if I is equal to 1, then what I will be sending, I just need to turn on B and C. So, A will be 0, B and C will be 1, then rest of the bits will be 0, okay. This is the information for the common cathode type. In case of the common anode type, obviously, since common point is at high voltage level so if you want to turn on any of these leds you need to send the logic level zero so for in case of the common anode type if i want to display zero i have to send zero at the led a zero then zero zero fine zero zero and then one one so what it will do basically they both are opposite of each other or complement of each other so this value will be sent in order to display the zero digit in case of the common anode type now let me show you the output at the seven segment display but before that let's just check uh, how it's a common anode or common cathode seven segment display so i preferably use this decimal point led in order to check uh, either it's this common anode or common cathode type so i will provide or preferably i will ground this common point and i will provide the high voltage at the decimal point fine and we will see uh, it if it turns on or not so here I am using simple uh, battery okay and uh, this is the decimal point where and I am connecting it with the positive terminal of the battery and while this is the common point and I am connecting it with the negative terminal of the battery and see either the LED blinks or LED turns on or not. So it's a common cathode type 7 segment display. Once you have checked it you can choose the binary value that you should send for displaying the digits so i have already written the code for that let's see how this seven segment counter works okay so let's just connect the circuitry i'm connecting it with this since this is the common cathode type seven segment display so that's why uh, i am just connecting and here you can see the counter values are actually being displayed starting from zero to nine 
and you can control basically the display duration like uh, you can by controlling the delay routines in the programming if you have some question uh, then drop your questions in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my ch channel thank you for watching